When confronted with badly weathered brick, there are a number of options for repair. However, the two most common techniques used are to replace the brick or undertake a mortar repair. In this video, we are looking at the repair of decayed brick using a mortar repair. This type of repair is used when it's not feasible to replace the existing brick. For the most part, brick repairs are undertaken when no more than 50% of the existing brick has decayed and or when a similar replacement brick cannot be sourced. In this instance, we are using a proprietary repair mortar. Repair mortars can also be prepared on site using a combination of lime, sand and brick dust, the brick dust being sourced from the building itself. Whatever the mortar is used, it is essential to complete an exemplar brick repair. Getting the right colour and tone can be very difficult, as the brick colours vary, particularly on older buildings. In some cases, a number of colours may be chosen for brick repairs, and tinting may be required to achieve the final colour variation. If undertaking work on a building facade, the bricks to be repaired must be identified and marked up using chalk, for example. It is important to record the brick repair locations as it is often difficult to locate the repairs afterwards, particularly when it has been done well. We use photographs to record this detail. The repair of an individual brick involves removing the decayed brick material until reaching a sound and solid surface. Any dust from the surface is now removed with brushing, and then sprayed with water to moisten the brick. After that, it is primed using a watered-down version of the repair mortar. This is left until the primer turns tacky but not dried out completely. If the depth of mortar to be applied exceeds 30 mil, it is applied in layers, with each surface layer moistened, mortar applied, and then the brick surface is scored or keyed, which helps the next layer of mortar to adhere to the surface as you build up each of the layers. The mortar is applied on the final layer and left slightly proud of the surrounding brick for it to stiffen. Once sufficiently stiff, the excess mortar is scraped back and shaped as required. The mortar is then left to set with protections applied in the form of hessian sacking to protect it from frost or drying out too quickly. Once the repair mortar has set and where required, the brick surface can now be tinted as shown. In this instance, a small amount of black iron oxide pigment is mixed with a fixative and dabbed onto the surface to blend in with the adjacent brickwork. Upon completion, the joints surrounding the brick are repointed.
This video is proudly brought to you by Old Stone Conservation. For further information, please visit our website or take time to view our other videos in our advice series.